Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today, and can you hear it? Do you, do you hear what's going on? I don't know if you can, but it is Halloween music because today is the very first day of the Halloween time season here at Disneyland, and I am so excited. I love Halloween, and I love all of the Halloween food. There's gonna be a lot of new food, so we're gonna try as much as we can, and then I also wanna see the characters. I wanna go on Haunted Mansion holiday. I want to just enjoy a nice first day of Halloween here at Disneyland kind of day. So come along with me, let's hang out, and let's go inside of Disney. I'm not being a crazy person. There is Halloween music. I don't think that you could hear it in that clip, but here we go. To you. Oh wait, no, I, w I wasn't singing it right at the right time. It's the Boo To You song. Anyway, to Disneyland we go. <laughs> the excitement in me is so real right now. You can hear Oogie Boogie, although he's not saying anything right now, but maybe he will in a moment. And then also you can see Carthay Circle with all of the bats. I cannot wait for Oogie Boogie Bash. I'm gonna be going next week very soon. And then also look at this. I haven't been here in a while, so I haven't seen all of this. Look, all of the pumpkins, all the characters. Mickey looks so cute with his little tiny nose. Oh, Oogie Boogie's saying something. I don't think you can hear that, but my favorite is always Donald. Look at him. He has the kind of beak that looks perfect when it's made out of a pumpkin. We love him. Joy in me is so immense right now because I am looking at the perfect view. Also, you can see the pumpkins back there. We love it. But look, Halloween decorations. I haven't seen any of this. And the train station, come on, the train station is looking picture perfect with that blue sky and all of the decorations. I know it's like kind of hot today, but that's, you know, it's it feels kind of fall-like, right? Kind of. The colors are making me feel it in my soul. <laughs> It's Goofy. Okay, are we following him? Are we gonna try and meet him right now? I think so. Why not? Oh my goodness, it's Goofy. Goofy, I'm so excited. I love your outfit. Today you are a jester and last year you were a tree. Do you like being a jester or being a tree more? I, jester, of course. You're gonna pick the one that you're wearing today. Do you hear the bells? They are jingling. I am I am dying, this is so funny. Poofy, you're the best. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great day. And maybe next year we'll see you in the tree costume again. Maybe, or something new. We're always open to new things. But anyway, have a great day today and happy first day of Halloween. <laughs> I have another exciting surprise. It is Minnie Mouse. Minnie, you look so good. I love, okay, first off, did you make everyone's costumes? Yes, I. you look so good, but I have to ask because I loved your outfit last year. You were like a little cat, you know? But this year you are a bat, a, no, a vampire, a bat, one of those, one of those. And you look fantastic, you look so, she looks so good, don't you think? She's doing a twirl for us and we love it. But yes, Minnie, thank you so much for your time today. I hope you have a great Halloween. And I love the bow, the bow's, bow's the best part. This is the moment I've been waiting for. <gasps> Donald, look at you. Look at his fangs. We Do you hear that? He is hissing. Do vampires hiss? I don't know if they do, but he just he just did. Okay, you look so good. I think we need a twirl. A gentle one, you know. Oh, no, uh, a very severe twirl, perhaps. Not so gentle. Look at him. We love him. Donald, you are the best one, and I think you win number one outfit. Out of every... You really do. Yes. You win. Yay. <laughs> number one outfit. Donald's number one. Number one. Number one. Anyway, Donald, happy Halloween. Love to see you. You are truly the best. <laughs> We've gotten far too long into this video without me getting food, and there's a lot of Halloween food that I want to get, but I was just overwhelmed by all the cuteness of all the characters, Donald especially, and I really want to meet Mickey, but he was not out. He will be back out. But anyway, let me tell you what I got. So I went to Jolly Holiday. They had so many items, so many items. I didn't get all of them, but I did get three desserts because what better way to start the day than three desserts? And we're going to start off with this one. So this is the pecan caramel trifle. It's layers of vanilla bean, diplomatic.
coconut cream, brown sugar spice cake, and candy pecans in caramel and topped with chantilly cream. Okay, my favorite part is obviously that it has mini on it. Come on, it's so cute. It is very in theme. So let's give it a bite. Oh god. Okay, this is... There we go. Sorry, that, that was harder than I, than I thought to get a bite. Whenever you get a trifle, the best part is the combination of all of the different textures, and this one is definitely great in that regard. The vanilla bean at the bottom is really nice and flavorful and sweet and vanilla-y, obviously. And then the cake is nice, it's like spongy, it's moist, but then the top is where it really shines. It has that sticky carameliness, and then the crunch of the pecans, although if you don't like nuts, if you don't like, I mean, if you don't like nuts, you wouldn't get this, right? But I would say the nuts are definitely very present. Very, very present. One of the most present things, perhaps, one might say. But anyway, this one is a win. I love this. And plus the mini, the little mini on the top. The second item is the pumpkin chai cream puff. It's pumpkin chai mousse and white chocolate crunchy pearls. And can I just say, it is the cutest one. And also, by the way, we are going in order of eating. Like, this one has to be last because this one is going to stay in my mouth. So we are going in order from least messy to more messy. So let's go ahead and give this a bite. I feel like, how am I gonna eat this? Because I don't really have a plate. I wanna just like bite into it. Is that appropriate? We'll see, anyway, okay. Wait, this one is so good. This one is really good. I was not expecting it to be that delicious. So on the inside, there is a ton of that delicious filling and it is very pumpkin-y, very pumpkin spice and chai flavored. So it has a lot of flavor going on and then it has a nice texture to the, to the pastry itself and then it's creamy, really creamy, really like mushy. You know, my favorite texture in food is mushy. So yes, it's kind of mushy. This is delightful. This is amazing. My third Jolly Holiday dessert is so cute and it is so eye-catching, right? But also so stain-looking, right? It looks like it's definitely gonna stain. Maybe not. Maybe it's kind of light green enough. I don't know, but either way, this is the poison apple macaron. It's salted caramel and apple compote. By the way, I you know how like caramel or caramel, you can say it either way, right? I say it both ways, and it just depends on how it just comes out of my mouth. I there's no rhyme or reason to that. Ooh, it's falling apart. Uh, see, okay, we gotta bite into it now. Hmm. When I read that it was caramel and apple compote, I wasn't really knowing what to expect, but this definitely tastes like a caramel apple, caramel apple caramel, caramel, tomato, tomato, but really, really good. And actually my favorite part are these little sugar crystals, the sprinkles on the edge. It gives it a really nice, like crunchy bite. And that part is delicious and it's very sweet. There's no tartness to the apple whatsoever. And the caramel is delicious. I love caramel, I love butterscotch, those sort of things. So this definitely has my heart, but look at it. It's falling apart. If I make one wrong move, this will be my lap. And I wanna break it in half. Do you think there's apple in the middle? I think so, right? let's let's do it why not it's gonna be a terrible mess either way oh yes okay there is see there's apple in the middle let's give the apple a bite oh god it, messy this one is the, the messiest I actually love that I love the apple in the middle it mixes so well with the caramel and the green apple frosting the only thing is, is that because it's so wet and it's so heavy, the apple in the middle, it kind of weighs it down and it did fall apart. It is now very messy and it's all over my hands. But this, I would totally get it again. It's very fun, it's kind of weird, and Disneyland Halloween-y. I love this one. This one is, oh, also by the way, there's no mummy macaron this year, which is devastating to me. The Mickey mummy one, this one replaces it. So like, I'm a little bit salty about it, but this one is pretty good. I do like it quite a bit, but is it better than the Mickey one? I don't know. The pure devastation. Look at how messy this cookie is. And by the way, I am with friends and I am the only one, oh, no, there's two of us who said the cookie was good. Everyone else was like, mm, man, no, thank you. So in case you're wondering, um, yes, maybe I have a weird taste. Then again, I know I have a weird taste, but yes, I liked it. Mickey, I am so excited. I'm kneeling down, by the way, because Mickey, you are not tall. You are, in fact, a mouse, so you're very, you're, you're quite short. But your outfit, look at your outfit. It is so... <laughs> Mickey. 
Vicky, you look so good. And Minnie must have made it. You guys all match. Everybody. Everybody around matches. And you look the best. Actually, no. Okay, I take... You and Donald look the best. Donald has the fangs. Donald is adorable. But you are too, especially with your little top hat. I love it. But anyway, thank you. Happy Halloween. And I will see you soon. <laughs> The goal for today was definitely to try a lot of the new food items, and this is a new food item from Gibson Girl. So this is the rest and chocolate sundae. It's Rocky Road ice cream in a chocolate-covered waffle cup with chocolate cookie crumbles, gummy worms, and a chocolate tombstone. And it's pretty basic, okay? Like, really, really very much so basic, but that's okay. It's just that it's really cute. I mean, look, it has a little tombstone. It's adorable. Gummy worms, come on. We love this just because it's cute. But let's try it, even though it's it's gonna taste exactly the way we think it's gonna taste. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm tasting this on camera because it is exactly what we think it's going to be, right? It's Rocky Road ice cream, some Oreos, although I think that the waffle cup looks really good. It does look really tasty, but it's warm today. So if I bite into it, it's gonna be kind of melty. It's gonna get on my mouth and I don't like that. Anyway, let's just try it. I'm gonna get this big chunk right here. And then I want the marshmallow in the rocky road. That's the best part. Oh, but okay, thankfully it is really warm today. So this is already getting soupy. Look at that. If I tilt it any further, it's gonna drip out and I love soupy ice cream. So let's try it. Oh, it's cold. I wasn't, oh, I know it's ice cream. I wasn't expecting that. That was cold. So yes, this is exactly what you think it's gonna be, but it's delicious and it is themed. It's, I don't wanna tilt it. It's gonna, oh, it's dripping, it's dripping. I have to, I have to lift that up. Look, the little tombstone. No, 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 don't fall. Stay where you're supposed to. There we go. We love it. A themed treat, a themed Halloween treat. <laughs> Let me show you one other thing. So my friend went to Plaza Inn and got the Bunt Cake, the special Halloween Bunt Cake, but it's not new for this year, but it's still festive and it's still fun. So I wanted to give it a try. And honestly, I don't think that I've ever had it. Maybe I have, I don't think that I have though. So this is the Black Forest Bunt Cake. It's filled with cherry filling, decorated with chocolate ganache and Halloween sprinkles. And it's topped with a chocolate mousse and a chocolate spider. And it is very cute. I cut it in half so that we could see what the middle looks like. And honestly, the frosting is what is drawing me in, but I, I just got a little bite. So it has some of the cherry, some of the cake, and some of that frosting that I think looks really good. <laughs> I actually really like that. And I am not surprised because the bunk cakes from Plaza Inn are always really good. They are the M word. Mm, you know what I mean. You know what I'm about to say. And it's nice and light. It has a good crumb to it. And the buttercream, it's not buttercream actually. It's the ganache is fabulous. It's so fabulous. And then the cherry, it kind of gives it a little bit of tartness. There's not a lot of it though. I actually would prefer more. It's like mainly cake and then a little bit of the ganache and stuff, but pretty good. Pretty good. I would recommend it. And then you can also get some fried chicken, which by the way, I can definitely smell the fried chicken from where I'm sitting and it's, it's confusing. I'm too hot for fried chicken right now. <laughs> Well, 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 if it is not the ride of the day, the ride of the hour, well, technically there's also Monsters After Dark, which is Guardians, but this one is truly, Haunted Mansion Holiday is the ride of the day, I feel like, and it has been, it's been down. It's been down for hours, and I came up here hoping maybe I would bring some good luck, but that's just not the case, and I'm at the gate just being like, let me in, please, let me in. Me and everyone else, we, we want to, get on Haunted Mansion Holiday. I want to smell the gingerbread cookie house smell. It's very, very important. Please let us in. Although I will say the, the wonderful Phantom Manor Disneyland Paris soundtrack going on is fantastic. The ambiance, A+, plus, but please let us in. But good luck we have because it opened. It's probably been about 20 minutes since I last talked to you, so it wasn't immediate. But today, we are slightly lucky and I am excited. I wanna see that gingerbread house. That is the highlight of Haunted Mansion Holidays, the, the gingerbread house. 1000% cannot beat the music for Haunted Mansion Holiday. It is spectacular, but also look at this view. You get a view of the Matterhorn and the Matterhorn tree at the very same time. So yay. Yay, okay, so I have my 
cold brew. This is from Red Rose Tavern and it's the Halloween specialty. So this is the pumpkin cheesecake cold brew. It's tavern cold brew coffee with pumpkin sweet cream cheese topper. And I do have a spoiler alert. First thing is that I did already taste the cold foam on its own and it tastes so good. It tastes just like pumpkin pie filling, but then you get the really nice cold foam texture, which I personally love. It's like whipped cream, but better. And I also, this is the second spoiler alert. I already started drinking it and it's, it's all right. It's, it loses some of its charm when you mix it all together, but it does have the caffeine, has some sugar, a lot of sugar. <laughs> and it definitely just like gets the job done if you're looking for caffeine. And you know, if you're like me and you're like, I want caffeine, but I want it to be special and seasonal and limited. That's what I want. So pretty good. And I would get it again, but I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't seek it out first for my coffee needs. At the churro cart in front of Casey Jr., they have the iridescent black poison apple mug. It looks pretty cool. And you know, my friends already bought this. They also bought both of the popcorn buckets. I'm not gonna be buying them, but I will insert a shot right now of their popcorn buckets. So it's the end of the night and we got all the items out of the locker. So this is the first one, the one that we saw at the popcorn cart, the churro cart, and it looks fantastic. And I've actually never held one of these in my hand before and it feels good. It feels a lot better than what I thought, like a lot higher quality than what I thought. And it just looks awesome. It has like an oil slick appearance to it. A plus, this one is good. This one is also super cool. This is the lock, shock, and barrel popcorn cart with the mayor and the mayor's car and everything. And the light is on right now, which looks really awesome. And you can see there's a light in the steering wheel and it shines on his face and the headlights light up. This is so fun. And then let's see on the other side, we have zero right there. And then I walked over to the fence because my friend told me that if you move the wheels, the mayor's head spins around. So let's see if we can maybe, I can't do this with one hand, I'm struggling. Nope, not gonna happen. You saw me valiantly try though, right? So the that I get five points for that, maybe? Nope, I, not really. And lastly, we have the Mickey popcorn bucket. And look, this is lit up right here. It is his little treat bucket. And he is so cute. He's also very, very big. He feels very nice and he glows in the dark. So all of his bones and everything, they glow. I love him. If I were to get one, I feel like this would be the one that I would get. Galactic Grill, they have a few items that were not on the foodie guide. One of them is a burger, the meat, you are right. Like, you know, a pun, meat, you are right, meat, you are right, burger. I didn't get that, but I did get another cold brew. Is it a good idea? Uh, I don't think so, but is it a bad idea? I, I also don't think so. <laughs> we'll, we'll see as we go on, but this is the banana cream cold brew and it's Joffrey's coffee cold brew, banana milk foam, whipped cream, and a vanilla wafer. And not just vanilla, wait, not one, but two. This is looking a little bit more sad perhaps than when I first got it, but we're going to make the most of it. Let me go ahead and stir it. I'm most excited just for the whipped cream, you know, and the, well, let me taste the, is it whipped cream or is it cold foam? Okay, that's whipped cream. Ooh, but it, I can taste what's underneath the cold foam and it is super, super like banana-y. It's very flavorful. So let's, oh no, it's also foaming over the edge. Uh, let me just try it really quick. Very banana-y, wow. Okay, I actually, this one is way better than the one over at Red Rose Tavern. It has more flavor, it's more fun. It also has a like really cute decoration going on and it has whipped cream. It has a lot of things on top of the Red Rose one, so I would get this for sure before getting that pumpkin cheesecake one, unless they were to serve the pumpkin cheesecake cold foam like alone, that would be really good. <laughs> but also not good for me, I would eat a lot of it. Anyway, get this one, very tasty. <laughs> Look at this wacky weather we have going on. And I don't know if you can hear it, but I can definitely hear it. It's like the squeak squeak of everybody walking in the very wet ground. Yeah, and it's it's obviously not raining anymore. So anyway, we are now at Alien Pizza Planet. Look at those aliens having so much fun, being so playful. And they always have an alien macaron, both the regular one and the Halloween one. But this year, the Halloween one is a new flavor. So I was like, okay, we gotta get it. 
how cute the aliens are. They are having the best time here at Neon Red. <laughs> I love them. The rain has stopped for now and I have my alien macaron. So this is the vampire alien macaron. It's a green alien macaron filled with salted caramel buttercream, chocolate ganache, and brownie bits. And it's different than the typical alien macaron that they have year round, which is lemon curd and blackberry. I'm pretty sure, but it's fruity and it's really delicious, but it's like, it gets very soggy. And then what they typically do with the vampire one, because the vampire one is semi-new, so the vampire one they typically do is the same flavor. They just, you know, decorate it the same, which is kind of boring. I still get it though, because I like a good gimmick and this one is really cute, especially his little fangs, like Donald as the vampire. But this time around, they did it with a new flavor, so I'm very excited to try it, but it's also really messy and, it's soggy on the bottom. Oh my gosh, here, let me show you. Look, it is soggy on the bottom and I don't care for that at all, but let's take a bite. Oh no, he's messy. <laughs> he's messy, but he does taste pretty good. I think it's the caramel buttercream. I have a weakness for caramel, butterscotch, like those types of flavors, and this one is really, really nice. The brownie in the middle is like, it's, it's good. It complements it all right, but it's soggy. It's not pleasant to eat. Sometimes the messiness of a food makes it like less pleasant. And I would say that's kind of the case here, but I would get it again. The flavors are good. I would, get, I would get it again. And plus he's cute. The little fangs are adorable. We're back. We are back at Haunted Mansion. The reason being is that they do a lighting ceremony every single night and it's very fun. It's very festive and it's right about sunset. It's very much so like the Shaboom lighting ceremony, you know, the Cars Land one, in that it happens right around sunset, but it's not a very, very confirmed time. You don't know the exact minute, but it's right around there. I'll, I'll let you know exactly what time it happens tonight because it's by sunset time. Um, it's crow o'clock almost, not quite, but almost. I don't know if you can see. There's one right there. There's another one I just saw over there. Oh, is that? No, I don't think that's one. That's just a shadow. That's just the tree. No, it is one. I'm lying. We have two crows, but I, they're coming. More are coming soon. See? More are coming soon. see like when sunset happens and today was 20 minutes after so that was a while we waited we waited there for a while but anyway it was it was good and look at it now very nice check it out because it's night we have the Halloween tree the Halloween tree is lit there's little jack-o-lanterns in it too you can see one right over there they all have different faces oh see one right there and it's I'm in kind of the worst place where you cannot see all of the fun faces but look there's a little plaque down here so you can see what the Halloween tree is all about so it says that the on the night of Halloween 2007 the stately oak officially became the Halloween tree we appreciate the change in font. Oh no, I'm sorry. It was it was blurry. <laughs> I was reading it. I wasn't looking at the camera. But now it says, uh, realizing famed author Ray Bradbury's dream of having his symbol for the holiday become a part of Disneyland because I'm pretty sure that he has a short story about the Halloween tree. Oh no, it's kind of losing focus right there. But yes, here we go. Halloween tree. Very cool. So I did end up coming over to the firework area. I'm on Main Street and I'm here because there's a chance. There's a chance the fireworks will go off and I want to, ooh, I can feel a breeze. Or a bluster, shall I say. It's a bluster. Um, should we place bets? What do we think? Are we going to see the fireworks or not? I don't know. We'll call out the spirits to socialize. After all, my friends, this is Halloween.
Boogie buggy. Okay, yes, this looks so good. Doesn't it look amazing at night? It looks way better than it did during the daytime. And I'm standing outside the gates like, um, okay, next time. I didn't go into California Adventure at all today. And really it was because I was planning on the next time I come, I would do a California Adventure Day, a Halloween California Adventure Day. And yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff to cover. And honestly, I, I, I'm, I'm tired right now. <laughs> Okay, so that is gonna do it for our full Halloween day, and it was a very full Halloween day. I was here for like 12 hours, which is very unlike me, but for Halloween, I will do whatever it takes. Can you hear Oogie Boogie back there? His maniacal laugh is happening right now, but I had the best day. I had so much fun. I ate so much food, and I got to see the fireworks and all the characters. Okay, the characters were my favorite part. Donald was my favorite part of the entire day. It was all downhill from there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but so much fun. <gasps> They're playing the skeleton dance song right now. I love that too, but an amazing, amazing day. And we got a little variety. We got a little taste of everything, and very good, but we also have a lot more Halloween to look forward to. So for instance, I did not get into California Adventure at all. I got I got to do that next time. I will get over there with Oogie Boogie and everything. And then, ooh, Oogie Boogie Bash, which by the way, I still do not have an outfit and it is like three or four days away. I'm worried, I'm worried for myself, but it, something is gonna happen. I'll be wearing something. We'll be good? Nah, that's up to fate to decide. But anyway, I had an amazing day. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me and yeah, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> okay, see ya.